The Saguenay went down off the coast of Nova Scotia on Saturday to what was supposed to be her final resting place. The retired naval ship was sunk with great foam and fanfare to make an underwater park. But as the CBC's Leslie McKinnon reports, its trip to the bottom took a dangerous turn. There she's starting. On Saturday, there was a party atmosphere on the water as the Saguenay went down. It seemed the sinking had gone without a hitch, except for one thing. The mammoth destroyer was supposed to plunge to the bottom and lay on its side. Instead, it's almost upright, resting on its stern, parts of it close to the surface. There is a scuttled ship reported in position 441954 North. Marker buoys with radar reflectors warn vessels to stay away or risk scraping over the Saguenay. It's not a bad situation. This is better. Divers say it's actually a much more attractive dive site now, far more accessible. And what we're seeing here is uh, the two towers, uh, spotting tower and the um, main uh, antenna mast. But according to Environment Canada, the Saguenay is a danger to ships on the surface. We can only assume that there may be a navigational hazard associated with that vessel as it sits now. This has to be straightened up. They can't leave it like that. From the beginning, lobster fishermen opposed the idea of the Saguenay as a marine park because they fear lobster habitat could be harmed. Now, they're furious. This is only one disaster, but there's many more to follow. But the politicians left them sink it and left them put it there. Now what trouble are we going to have to face in the future? The Saguenay has been given two weeks to stabilize. After that, if it isn't at least 12 meters under the water, the marine park operators must either roll the giant ship over, a major undertaking, or start cutting parts of it off.